just came back in from outside um, quite surprised I know I keep saying that it is what late October and usually in Canada it's already cold but I'm keep getting peppers man and there's been a lot of people asking for recipes with using their extra peppers that they planted this year and while I have about 10 pepper sauce recipes on the website guess what I'm doing we're gonna add number 11 if that's the case <laughs> yeah, this one here is influenced by my good friend Chef Finn Bar. He has that cocoa pine pepper sauce. I'll link. Check him on Instagram. I'll put a little thing here for you guys to check him on Instagram. Um, it's a raw pepper sauce. Pilori, mm, it working like a chutney. On your grilled meat, ay ay ay. Think self hamburgers, hot dogs. On the side of your dal and rice and curry. Hey, this thing just versatile for this. But check Chef Finn Bar. That man have some great sauces as well, yeah? Now as far as ingredients goes, we've got a couple lemons, we'll need the juice of that lemon, a small pineapple ripe to the max, some shadow benny, if you cannot get shadow benny, it will be called culantro. If you cannot get shadow benny or culantro, grab some cilantro or coriander, some salt, we got garlic, horseradish, <clears throat> and I've got here five different varieties of pepper. The small ones that you're seeing here, like this one here, that is all about flavor. That is a seasoning pepper, which we call a pimento pepper. We've got the boss here, and that is the Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. We've got a chocolate seven pot, or seven pod. Just one of those. These one, two, those are ghost peppers. Um, habanero, one type of habanero, and a different type of habanero there. So, is that five? I hope I got my numbers correct. Go back to school, partner. Anywho, let's get, yo, let's mash this thing up, man. I'll be using my food processor today. My peppers are already washed, and I would highly recommend you guys use gloves at this point. Don't play around. These peppers are incredibly hot. I'm not even going to give them a rough chop. If you want to give them a rough chop, you can do that. So all the peppers are going to go into the food processor. We've got... The garlic going in there as well. We've got that shadow benny. We're just gonna rip up, toss that in there. And these pimento peppers, you know, like I said, there's no heat about it at all. But once you cut them open, if you can get them, that is. Now, here's the thing about this pepper sauce you can use whatever sort of peppers you have available to you or you like. I wish I had some scotch bonnet peppers. Um, most of those I already used up, so the habanero is nice and fruity. And there are two types of habaneros in there, as I mentioned. But the sort of missing extreme heat I would get from, from the Scotch bonnet, that is where we have that ghost pepper, the third hottest pepper in the world probably, and that Trinidad Maruga scorpion. Then in goes that salt. And if you want to keep that sodium free, you can certainly do that as well. I just find that the salt tends to heighten the flavors of the pepper sauce. I went ahead and I grated off, I peeled off some of the skin, the outer skin um, here. And all, all I'm gonna do is grate some of that in there. Remember, this is gonna be peppery as well. So we want about a teaspoon or so of that in there, grated in there. Pineapple time. All you're gonna do is cut off the top. Did you know this is the where? This is what you use to plant. So you would stick this in the dirt, maybe a year or something. I don't know. And then a new pineapple would come up here. Yeah, my dad used to plant that stuff. Oh, look at that. Mm. And the smell is just incredible. We'll cut off the bottom as well. And then all we're gonna do, and you will see me do this before on the Food FAQ channel where I showed you guys how to peel and core a pineapple. That skin, wicked juice. Today, we ain't worried about juice too much. We want the actual pineapple flesh or meat. But I'm gonna say if you, 
if you want to make a juice do your thing you know? to lay out Chris and his madness stop you all from doing your thing so we're just gonna green bin that down the center down the center and then you want to remove the core so then this hard woody part we don't need that nobody want that in their life at this point but again if you're making that juice that core is your friend as well too eh? there's flavor in there one more cut chunks that's all you got to do one more cut chunks one more cut chunks. this piece here is for uncle chris to dip into some brown sugar and and enjoy and we're almost done we're just going to toss all those pineapple chunks into the food processor if you're using a blender rock that blender and all we got to do now is puree that that is it two minutes in the food processor there and a nice chunky flavor and that is how our <laughs> texture <laughs> listen to me in flavor um, a nice chunky texture oh boy does it ever smell good oh my word pineapple pepper sauce oh yo yo and that hint of um horseradish that we put in there boy that's gonna just alleviate things yeah trust me on that Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Pineapple pepper sauce, <coughs> word is it ever hot and spicy, man. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. I'm going to put it into a glass jar, something similar to this. Um, we didn't use any preservatives, it's all natural, it is a raw sauce. So I would recommend putting it in a clean glass container in the fridge. Now bear in mind, in the fridge, it will lose some of its vibrancy, some of its heat. But as the flavors mellow down, you're going to get an awesome pepper sauce. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.